I'm Kent Twitchell. This is the uh, what, November 2009 pieces, segments of the Berlin Wall that Berlin sent to us, uh, painted by, and I'm just touching mine up. I thought I had uh, enough height, but I'd forgotten how tall it was, and so I'm going to have to come back in a, in a couple of days and finish his hair. Although maybe I'll just leave his hair like that, I'm not sure yet. So it goes along with the way on the adjacent wall. Well, I was asked uh, by Tom Lavange uh, and, and Justin Jambo of, 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 of the Venti Museum, Tom Lavange of the city, to take a, a part in project with Terry Noir, who, who had been the first one to paint on the actual Berlin Wall in the 80s. And we were going to paint all of them, and they were going to be replicas. But then, in the midst of that, Berlin heard about it and donated actual segments of the wall themselves. And so then we changed it, and instead of painting Kennedy and Reagan, which I was going to paint in the middle, and then Terry was going to paint, I was going to paint four segments, and he was going to paint six. Uh, I decided to paint half of Kennedy and half of Reagan. To, to, to leave more uh, segments left, and uh, the reason I chose them, uh, he, Kennedy was the, uh, the president when the Berlin Wall happened, and went with his famous speech and said that we, were, we are all Berliners now, and Reagan was famous for going there against all of his advisors and telling uh, Gorbachev, come here if you really want peace and tear down this wall, and uh, it gave a lot of uh, encouragement to, to the Berliners. And, uh, matter of a few months later the wall was torn down so I see that as the beginning and that is the end of the wall. <laughs> 